is number 201. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. The eternal King Christ Jesus, Lord, the Father's perfect Word and Son, to your own image in your love, you first created sinless man. And when the enemy of God deceived our race and brought it low, you chose our nature to assume with virgin mother's free consent. That so uniting God and man, you might for guilty man atone, that pardon through redeeming blood, in Christ all men should be baptized. You chose to die upon the cross to save us all from lasting death. You shed your blood in sacrifice to win us endless happiness. Once risen and in glory to with God the Father now you reign and we believe with hope and love that we through you shall again. O oh, Jesus, be our Easter joy, which never fades from grateful hearts. May all of us your triumph share, reborn and radiant with grace. All glory, Jesus, be to you, who conquered death and reigned supreme, resplendent with the Father's power and with the Holy Spirit's life. Amen. rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name of Christ. Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs the heathens themselves had. What marvels the Lord worked for them, what marvels the Lord worked for us, indeed we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back, full of song, carrying their sheaves. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The apostles left rejoicing that they were counted worthy to suffer dishonor for the name of Christ. Alleluia. He spoke of the temple of his body. Alleluia. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your early arising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing, the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. He spoke of the temple of his body. Alleluia. If you are reproached for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory rests upon you. Hallelujah! We heard with our own ears, O God, our fathers have told us the story of the things you did in their days, you yourself in days long ago. To plant them, you uprooted the nations. To let them spread, you laid peoples low. No sword of their own won the land. No arm of their own brought them victory. It was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your face, for you loved them. It is you, my King, my God who granted victories to Jacob. Through you we beat down our foes. In your name we trampled down our aggressors. For it was not in my bow that I trusted, nor yet was I saved by my sword. It was you who saved us from our foes. It was you who put our foes to shame. All day long our boast was in God, and we praise your name without ceasing. Yet now you have rejected us, disgraced us. You no longer go forth with our armies. You, you make us retreat from the foe, and our enemies plunder us at will. You make us like sheep for the slaughter, and scatter us among the nations. You sell your own people for nothing, and make no profit by the sale. You make us the taunt of our neighbors, the laughing stock of all who are near. Among the nations you make us a byword, 
among the peoples a thing of derision. All day long my disgrace is before me. My face is covered with shame at the voice of the taunter, the scoffer, at the sight of the foe and avenger. This befell us, though we had not forgotten you, though we had not been false to your covenant, though we had not withdrawn our hearts, though our feet had not strayed from your path. Yet you have crushed us in a place of sorrow and covered us with the shadow of death. Had we forgotten the name of our God, or stretch out our hands to another God. Would not God have found this out, he who knows the secrets of the heart? It is for you that we face death all day long, and are pounded as sheep for the slaughter. Awake, O Lord, why do you sleep? Arise, do not reject us forever. Why do you hide your face and forget our oppression and misery? For we are brought down low to the dust. Our body lies prostrate on the earth. Stand up and come to our help. Redeem us because of your love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. If you are approached for the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory rests upon you. Alleluia. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. God chose us in Him before the world began. To be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his love we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Blessed be our Father, who has blessed us in Christ. Alleluia. the Hebrews. 
We have such a high priest who has taken his seat at the right hand of the throne of the majesty in heaven, minister of the sanctuary and of that true tabernacle set up not by man, but by the Lord. Now every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Song. 
Look with kindness on those who do not recognize your presence. Reveal yourself to them so that they may welcome you as Savior. Through the cross you have brought reconciliation to mankind in your body. Grant unity and peace to all nations. For oblates and future oblates and benefactors and for vocations to our community and to the priesthood. For tomorrow's board meeting. Pray for all those who suffer from mental health issues. Judge of the living and the dead, forgive the sins of the faithful departed. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray, O God, perfect light of the blessed, by whose gift we celebrate the Paschal mysteries on earth. Bring us, we pray, to rejoice in the full measure of your grace for ages unending. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with your your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us, and And also with our brothers and sisters. Martyrology of Mephit. The year of grace, 449. St. Hilary, born in the Belgian part of Gaul to a family of Greek origin, he followed his relative, St. Honorat, to Larry. Later, he succeeded him as Bishop of Arles. The year of the Lord, 1225, St. Angelus. Born at Jerusalem of a Jewish family, converted to Christ, the son of David. He made his religious profession on Mount Carmel, the mountain sanctified by the prophet Elijah. Afterwards, he was sent to Rome to approve, to obtain the approval of his order. Elsewhere, the heavenly birth of a cloud of numerous other of a cloud of witnesses of every race, people, tongue, and nation who have entered into eternal glory. Remember, most gracious Virgin Mary, that there never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired by this confidence, I fly unto thee, O Virgin, 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 my own mother. To thee, O Adam, before thee I stand, since sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not my petitions, but in thy mercy hear and answer me.